Hello there, my name is Ismos and welcome to Top Channel 101. So today let's look at uh, how to bake uh, the roughness texture. And uh, yes, yeah, so this is uh, uh, the model we're going to bake the roughness texture for. And uh, it has different material for different parts. So you can see that uh, uh, this is a separate uh, part of the mesh uh, that has a different material. Now we have this here, also has its own material and uh, this also has uh, different materials but uh, we want to bake them onto a single texture map uh, like what I did here let me find uh, because I've already baked this before uh, I just want to show you how I did it so let me first hide all these lights so I'll just box select everything let me turn on my screen shade screen screen keys hide all the lights and the camera and uh, Let's go back to textured mode. If you go to edit mode, and make sure I have something selected active here. I can go to uh, the roughness. So I think I, I exported that out. So let me find that. Ah, this is the roughness uh, that I baked. And uh, you can see that, uh, yeah. And see these lines here should be there so though every material has its own texture they have they have all been merged into one single texture you can see these are cloth patterns uh, you can see them there and uh, uh, this here is uh, this here. so let's see how to bake uh, everything into uh, the same into this the roughness into the same uh, image so yeah the first thing you want to do is uh add an image where you want to bake those uh, textures too so i'll just add texture image then i will create a new image i'll call this <coughs> uh headgear headgear roughness roughness map uh, you can double the resolution so that you have more detail in the in the map then click ok uh, then for the roughness uh, since we are using the principal shader and it has a roughness input uh, we don't have to worry about anything else you just make sure you have the other uh, texture selected and uh, copy it using ctrl c and then paste it on every other material uh, that you want to bake so let's see we have this we have it there paste that there let's paste this like that so this already has that then paste it on this one as too so go through every other material and make sure that uh, they do have uh, that roughness bump or texture selected as well so after you have that done just select everything and now you can go to edit mode let's delete this select our roughness gear map I'm just going to boost up uh, that roughness for this uh, for this uh, header here for this uh, part here uh, and uh, what is going to bake is uh, this input here. I think I'd also this needs to be bumped up a bit so that we see those details. Give it a bit more contrast. something like that and uh, what else ah, for this head as well so this helmet part I need to make it more contrasty as well so so that it comes through in the back yes yeah, so it's also going to render this output here uh, make sure that uh, you are previewing the principal BSD shader or 
if you're using a different shader make sure it has the roughness input otherwise you won't be able to to bake uh, the roughness for that part uh, let's just go back through and make sure that uh, every material you have in your that you want to bake out uh, you have the principal shader as your output material uh, so again after that uh, make sure you have the roughness uh, the texture you want to bake to are selected uh, because if you have another material another texture like this selected uh, it will overwrite or bake uh, those textures to that so if you have uh, a different uh, texture on that it will be uh, written on or overridden so let's preview this and select the headgear and the texture let's select this go through everything and make sure that uh, it's the text it is that texture uh, that we have selected yeah, so yeah w let's now select everything and go to UV editing or you can bake a in any po in any view that you want but i like to uh, bake from movie editing from the uv editing panel uh, so that i can see how this is working out uh, make sure that uh, your uvs have uh, some distance between them I, I have an issue here where this is going out of the out of uh, the wind of the texture space so let me move this up a bit it's going to mess up everything else that I had before, but uh, I think that's okay. I can just remake everything. So then you can go to render settings. Make sure you're using the cycles uh, engine uh, because uh, EV as of now doesn't have bake options. And then you can go under the bake options, select roughness, and then hit bake. Uh, it will, uh, roughness takes very little time to bake and you can see that uh, we have everything I need and select everything here so you can see that uh, we are starting to bake out the different parts of the mesh one by one okay for some reason some of it has not baked uh, that could be because I ha I had a different texture selected so let's let's examine that and see so uh, these parts here are not selected so let me see if I can what part is this this here has not baked out so let's go to the shading and see what's happening Everything seems to be okay. So let's try baking again and see. Because sometimes it may just be acting up. So, huh. Okay, it baked that into the color uh, texture i don't know why maybe because i had it selected so let's go back and see if that's the case just to be sure uh every object that i check i'm going to hide it uh, so this and this is clear Oh, you can see that uh, for this here, we don't have uh, that uh, that reference texture, so it, it is baking directly to this here. So we need to paste uh, that there, and uh, make sure also that uh, we're previewing uh, the principal shader. Then let's hide this as well because it checks out, and uh, let's hide this as well. Uh, let's also hide this, that, and uh, yeah, everything is should be fine now uh, let's select everything else and uh, hide that then bake again let's make sure that uh, we are in the here gear, headgear roughness and then bake again uh, 
Okay, so that is good. Okay. You can see how the text how the texture is updating uh, when it's baking. So if it completes to if it uh, completes 100% and you don't see any update on the image, uh, it could be that uh, you're baking somewhere else. And you can see these here are also baking outside, are baking on a different image. So what part is this? It's this part here. So, and that is the cloth. It's using the cloth, is it? Plastic, let's go there. I have this selected, but it's still baking on the color. So what I'm going to do is just delete uh, that. And let's go back and see what else is baking on the wrong map. This two. So stripe. Let's just go in and delete uh, this because it's causing a few problems for us and then you can just come back and select this. So let's go back to UV. Make sure we have everything selected and go back to headgear and uh, bake again. Okay, that's one, two, uh, okay, these are baking to the right map now. Good, good, so we just left with these parts, uh-huh, these ones now. Yeah, I think everything now has baked on the right map. You can see that uh, every island has its own UVs. Uh, when you bake out, uh, make sure that uh, you don't have this thing happening here where the UVs are going outside at uh, the texture space. But uh, because this is just a tutorial, uh, it doesn't really matter that much for me. So that's okay. Then uh, you can just go in and uh, save us. Uh, roughness map. I will just re rewrite my previous map uh, because I think this is a better map. Uh, so in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to bake uh, the metal uh, texture here, uh, the metallic texture. Because if you uh, let's say let's if I duplicated this, or let me just copy this and uh, create a new project. Is this not opening up? Copy. Let me just create a new project directly and uh, paste this. We still get the materials, but uh, now I can just uh, select everything. Uh, you just have to go in video elements and uh, delete uh, the materials. So instead of every other object having its own material, uh, like what we had before, uh, we can use uh, the same material for all the objects. So I just add a new material and uh, import uh, the textures we have uh, exported or, or baked out. So image, and then find the textures. So just go Let's bring in the roughness, and uh, if I connect that in to the roughness, we can see that uh, our roughness is coming through. But uh, we need to give it, we need to make sure that all these other elements are also using the same uh, materials. Let me turn on my shortcuts. So to link that, just select everything and uh, make sure that uh, uh, the final object with the material you want to use is the last to be selected or is the active element so control l and then hit control l and then link our old materials so now you can see that uh, we have every object using that uh, material so let's 
get uh, the color. So I already baked out the color. You can see the previous tutorial on how to bake out color and uh, order issues and then connect these to the same material. You can see that, that now by just connecting that, uh, we, we have uh, the colors, the color also applied to everything. Uh, now what we are left with is, uh, is what uh, the normal map. So I'll just import that as well. It's this here. And uh, for that to work well, I found that if you connect it directly, sometimes it doesn't work correctly. So let's see how it works here. You can see that uh, it's too, I don't know, maybe too powerful or something, but uh, it's not rendering correctly. Uh, so what I usually do is add a vector bump map in between here. I connect the color output of this to the normal map and uh, then play around with the strength. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't for some reason. I don't know why, uh, but I th maybe it's a bug. I can't really tell. Uh, let's try using the normal map vector, normal map. Connect this to the color and then this to the normal map. This is a bit better, but uh, still not uh, what I expect, not how we should. Uh, I think now we are starting to see some details coming in. For some reason, uh, the normal map never works as I expected to work. Let's try object space. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work as I expected to work, but uh, uh, so now that we have, you see the problem we are running into here is that uh, everything is working correctly except the normal map obviously, uh, but uh, the roughness and the color map are working correctly. Uh, the problem is, if we look at uh, the previous project, I don't know why Blender is not opening up my another project here. Let me see. Uh, the problem I'm, I was talking about is that. Uh, uh, we don't have a map for the metallic option to uh, to make this metallic uh, because in our previous in our this is opening up to point eight. Let me save this as one and uh, just to show you how the the previous one looked like. You can see that uh, in our previous uh, in this project, uh, this is metallic, and uh, from the shading here, you can see that. Uh, the helmet uh, has a metallic value of one, but the cloth ha doesn't have uh, that value. And uh, because of that reason, uh, they are rendering differently. Uh, if I change this to, to non-metal by changing the value here to zero, you can see how it is rendered. Uh, but I want that to be set to one. And uh, if we go to the bake settings, uh, there is no bake type for metallic. I think glossiness can work, but uh, I've tried that out, but it takes really a lot of time uh, to bake out. Uh, in the next uh, tutorial, I'll show you how to bake out uh, to make a very fast bake of the metalness of the objects so that when we, so that we have a map to input uh, to the metallic uh, value uh, in the same way that uh, we have been doing uh, for, the other, for the other maps uh, so that this looks right uh, right now if we change this to one everything else will also be changed to metal which is not how it's supposed to be and see this is this becomes too reflective uh, the cloth is not a cloth anymore so yeah I'll show you how to do that in the next story